I was five years old, and my older cousin was driving us back from Six Flags Great Adventure in St. Louis, Missouri. I was nine years old the first time it happened. I was visiting my grandparents in Kentucky for the summer, and I'd gone to the store to get some bubble gum. We had a town park that I worked at for several years as a teenager in the summers. The park had large signs at all the entrances that said, town residents only. And she said to me, when we go to Jones Beach this Sunday, can I take my new friend, Brittany? And I said, yes, sure. When I was seven years old, my grandpa took my sister and I into an ice cream parlor. I was 23 when I moved to LA and I got on a bus in Hollywood for the first time. And when I looked around me... But we were taught to challenge people within the park who didn't seem to be town residents. And inevitably, by example, what we were taught was it would be uh, black people. The next day she comes home with a photo of Brittany and she shows it to me and I froze. Brittany was a very black Nigerian girl. Then suddenly the door locked and I woke up and she said, it's a bad neighborhood. Everyone on that bus was black, except me. And I felt uncomfortable. And I said to Kelly, I think it may rain on Sunday. The woman behind the counter would not serve us. And the white woman at the counter said to me, don't touch that nigger. That was the first time that word was ever said to me. Grammy took my sister and I back inside, wrapped her cane on the counter and said, we're next. She started crying. and She looked at me and said, Dad, you don't want Brittany to come because she's black. And I admitted to her in that moment that she was right and that I had to work that out of my system. There's still a lot of work to be done. Brianna Taylor. Trayvon Martin. A Tatiana Jefferson. George Floyd. Alberta Sproul. Elijah McLean. Eric Garner. The Central Park Five. Ahmad Arbery. Philando Castile. Amadou Diallo. Rodney King. Emmett Till. The Episcopal Actors Guild is a not-for-profit organization comprised of actors, singers, dancers, and those who celebrate their talent. Based in New York City since 1923, we assist performing artists in need, providing financial aid, helping to pay rent, a utility bill, a medical bill, providing groceries from our actor's pantry. EAG has been helping for almost 100 years, and we want to do more. We know that social injustice and systemic racism still exist, so we are taking a stand because there's still a lot of work to be done. Injustice, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice, justice everywhere. everywhere. We are EAG, and we stand with Black Lives Matter.